Norfolk's annual boat fest has become something of a mini harbor fest, only you have to pay to get in. The weekend event will have music, entertainment, and food, but mostly boats, lots of them for sale or charter. There's something for every price range, from a $3,000 runabout to this handsome ocean-going yacht with a just as handsome price tag. If show promoter Peter Carroll succeeds, visitors will also get a look at some sharks this weekend. Carroll predicts as many as 200 sharks will be brought in for his contest. One is already on the way. Yes, there was a radio call last night from uh, a sailboat that was uh, shark hunting out in the canyon, and he said he had a big one and he was bringing it in, coming in slowly to keep it alive. If and when a shark is brought in, this crane will go into action. It'll hoist the shark up into the air, weigh it, and then put it in one of two places. The live ones will be put in a tank where we have a high-pressure hose pumping uh, air and water through the tanks continuously, and the dead ones will just be on display on those racks over by the fence. We're going to try to keep the live ones alive. $500 goes to the owner of the biggest dead shark, $1,000 for the biggest live one. And Carol thinks he has solved the problem of what to do with them after the show. The live ones will be towed past the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel and set free. In Norfolk, Cynthia Smooth, The Daily News. Only die-hard boating enthusiasts would have braved today's monsoons to price $100,000 boats, but there were a few. The largest so far, this year's International In the Water Boat Show in Norfolk, had dozens of different ways to spend your money or build your dreams. The three-day event has become a Norfolk tradition, notwithstanding the $3.50 admission charge to stroll the docks, window shopping for your favorite escape. But the highlight of the show that drew spectators like a five-car pile-up were the sharks. Dead ones hung out like a side of beef in a cooler, guaranteed to bring a grimace and a stare from spectators. Or there were the live ones, not much bigger than a good-sized trout, like this one, a 13-pounder, brought in by 25-year-old Mark Evans, who, along with two buddies, set out early this morning on the Great Atlantic Shark Hunt. The publicity stunt garnered a lot of attention for the boat show, but may have disappointed a lot of Jaws fans. And that's the way it closed if you were into boats and sharks and didn't mind the kind of weather that separates the true deckhands from those who don't own a good rain slicker, this was the place to be. In Norfolk, Kathleen Bachman, The Daily News.